the Samsung Galaxy Tab S is so much like Apple's iPad, it's kind of scary. Samsung's flagship tablet is thin and light, has an extremely high-res screen, and it comes in two sizes. The Tab S is clearly meant to challenge Apple directly, with a large 10.5-inch tablet and a smaller version with an 8.4-inch screen. Let's start with the good. The screen of the Galaxy Tab S is gorgeous. It's a super AMOLED display with 2560 by 1600 resolution. Not only do photos and videos look crystal clear, but the color pops too, which is nice to have for things like reading digital magazines. That's great, since Samsung is pushing magazines and other digital content in a major way with this tablet. There's a built-in reader called Paper Garden, which is basically a virtual storefront for various publications, complete with free samples. It's pretty buggy though, and it commits a major no-no. It's pretty vague about who exactly you're giving your credit card information to. Still, as a reader, it's the best thing I've seen on Android that's comparable to the iPad's interactive magazines, where you can do things like tap on something in the contents and immediately go to that page. The Galaxy Tab S is the first tablet we've used that includes a fingerprint reader. It works pretty much the same as the one on the Galaxy S5, which is to say, not that great. For every successful unlock, you're probably going to see the words not recognized or no match two or three times. Speaking of the Galaxy S5, if you have one, you can use a special feature called Side Sync to manage it from the Tab S. That way, if your phone is in another room, you can take calls, send texts, and even run phone apps all on the tablet. Side Sync is really cool and useful. Where the Galaxy Tab S falls short is really in the overall experience. If you have an iPad, then you're used to a certain fluidity in everything you do. You tap on an app, it opens quickly. If you swipe on a photo, it moves with your fingertip. And while the Tab S isn't a sloth, there were too many times when I tapped on an app, an icon, or a menu setting, and was left waiting for the device to do something. I've seen this kind of lag on Android tablets before, but in 2014, we should be past it. And it's disappointing to see them in a supposedly flagship tablet. In spite of them, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S delivers a great tablet experience, almost solely because of the hardware. This is the sleekest, most high-risk tablet Samsung has ever made, and everything from photos to books looks great on it. The overall experience is still a few notches down from what the iPad gives you, but the Galaxy Tab S won't disappoint, as long as you don't tap on it too much.